Hey, good morning, church. My name is Brock. I am the 412 pastor, the middle school pastor at the GLR campus. Um, and I know we've been going through Galatians for a few weeks now. And I wanted to take a look at a passage in Galatians 5. It's verse 16 through 26. And it's actually a passage that we've been going through together in 412 for the past few weeks. We've been talking about the ending of this where Paul talks about the fruit of the Spirit and what the Spirit produces in our lives when we walk by the Spirit. So I wanted to specifically take a look at the ending of this, and I'm gonna read it here. It says this, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. And we've been going through each one of those qualities individually with our students, talking about what it looks like to love, what it looks like to be joyful, what it looks like to have goodness in our lives. And it's been so fun watching them learn these things and memorizing this scripture because we got to challenge them at the start to memorize this scripture and to think about it and meditate on it um, when they're going throughout their week, when we're talking about it on the weekends. So I just, I wanted to read that part, but I know in another translation that we've been teaching from, it says the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in you. And I've thought about it and how it's not just us. Like, yes, we can try to do these things. There's definitely practices that we can do to practice being loving and practice being joyful. There's definitely things that we can do to practice gentleness. And I encourage you to do that. But ultimately, Paul is telling us it is the Holy Spirit that produces this in us. It's not us. It's not by our trying. It's not by us striving for it and going after it as much as we can. It's the Holy Spirit that produces this in us. I think about uh, planting things and, and you, you know when we talk about fruit. I know I'm not good at taking care of plants at all. I've tried to. Um, I love to keep them around for cooking but I'm not good at taking care of them. I always either forget to water them or just forget they're there and my wife has to remind me about them. Um, And so ultimately we don't keep plants around anymore. But I know the fruit of those plants is dependent a lot on the soil and how I take care of it. It's dependent on, on if I water it, if I take care of it. So it reminded me of this passage in Matthew and it's the, it's the parable of the sower. And Jesus is talking, and I'll just uh, read this last one, but he, he talks about the four different kinds of soil. When somebody goes out and sows, there's four different kinds of soil that it falls on, right? It falls on the path or the, the rocky ground, and he ultimately ends up talking about good soil. And he says this, Other seed fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. And this same, this passage, and it's the same with us. We're not the ones who are, who are bearing the fruit. It's, it's the Holy Spirit that's producing it in us. But we get to determine what soil the Holy Spirit is planted in. Is he going to be planted in rocky soil where the roots can't run deep? Where these things like goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control and love, where those things can't take root in our lives? Or are we going to have good soil in us to where when the Holy Spirit comes and he produces these things, they can grow and they can grow more and more in our life that we can see more love, we can see more joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. So I just wanted to encourage you with that today, church. See ya.